everyone. Welcome back to eHealth Indonesia 2020 Goes Online. This is Institution Webinar Series. My name is Anton Hilman. I'm going to be moderating this webinar. This webinar is going to be presented by the representative of Oniris School of Business. Please stay tuned until the end of this webinar because after the presentation, we will hold a Q&A session. If you have any question about the presentation or anything related to the institution, you can submit your question in YouTube's comment section anytime throughout the presentation. And now, please welcome the representative of Oniri School of Business, Monsieur Letong A. Avu. Excusez-moi, Monsieur. On ne vous attend pas On ne vous entend pas Là, c'est bon Oui, c'est bon, c'est bon maintenant. Okay. Mais je n'ai pas le, le, pas le partage. Ok, euh, attendez un instant. Be patient, let's be patient. Ok. Vous pouvez partager l'écran maintenant. Ok. Okay, so good morning. Good morning, everybody. My name is Frank Insignares. Uh, it's 10.45 a.m. here in the city of Nantes in northwestern France. My name is Frank Insignares, and uh, I am the Global Affairs Field Officer for Oniris. Just a bit of a correction to the, the presentation that was made earlier. Oniris is not a business school. Oniris is a national college for food process engineering and veterinary medicine. So the two masters that I'm going to talk about this morning are in the field of um, food science engineering, which is a master's in bioprocessing engineering and veterinary medicine. So this webinar is really targeted for advanced undergraduate students or graduate students. So we do not offer uh, bachelor's programs. And we are, as I said, uh, food science engineering and veterinary medicine. It's not a business school. Okay, so I'd like to start to um, uh, explain where Nantes is. First of all, Nantes is in Northwestern France. It's the seventh largest city in France. As you can see, it's very near the Atlantic Ocean. Um, and I'd like to start then with the presentation about one of our campuses, which is the Food Science Engineering Campus. And we offer a master's degree there. But before I continue, I'd like to show you a little video kind of explains the kind of work you're going, you would be doing with this type of masters. And one of the areas is advanced process control, which is a leading state-of-the-art technology, which is used in, in, in manufacturing industries, but can be applied to food and biotechnology. So join me with this first presentation of a short uh, video.
Well, there you have it. So that's one of the main areas that you would be studying a, at um, uh, through the masters in in food science engineering. Let me move on to the next slide. Bear with me. I have a. Oh, excuse me, but just a bit of a technical problem. I'll be with you in a second. Uh, my my slide is stuck. I can't move it. Okay, hold on. For all the audience, I just want to remind you, if you have any question about the presentation or anything related to the institution, you can submit your question in YouTube's comment section during this presentation. Yeah, unfortunately, my... Can you see it here? No, no. we cannot see anything. We can just see your, your, your face. Okay. Uh, because my slide presentation is stuck. Can you see it now? No. Hold on. Let me, let me come back. I apologize for the technical difficulties. I no longer have access to the share. But that, okay, okay, got, I have it now. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have it now? Yes, I can see your, your presentation. Okay, so there we have it. So let me uh, backtrack then. So those that's one of the areas, advanced process control, in which a lot of the training for the bioprocessing engineering masters is focused on. But you also have another area, which is called energy engineering. So the objective of this masters is to train leaders for uh, managing this complex, innovative engineering projects for both the food processing, engineering, and food production. Now, you don't have to be a food science engineer to enroll in the master's. We, um, we recruit uh, energy engineers, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, uh, and we train the students for those possibilities in the food bio and biotechnology areas. So the objective is to give you that opening for the food science and engineering sector. Uh, and so the career opportunities, of course, are food in the food and biotechnology industry. So you apply all these tools of advanced energy engineering and advanced process control uh, specifically for the food and biotechnology industry. And a lot, all of our research centers are focused only in the food and biotechnology sectors. And the um, internships that you will do will also be either in the research labs for uh, food science and engineering or in the industry. So the, this master specifically involves two years. So the first year would be more focused on energy engineering in general. And the second year would be focused on the food science and biotechnology industry. So see, this is, uh, we have state of the uh, art research units uh, that teach on this master's program. Um, ourselves, Oni Rees, then IMT Atlantique, which is also one of the major uh, engineering schools here in France. And our uh, international uh, national research unit, which is focused on all these uh, state of the art technology 
uh, for the food industry and biotechnology sectors. So the first two semesters uh, are, in, are that the, the first year of the masters that you, you would do at IMT at L'Antique, uh, which is a neighboring campus. And then the second year would be done at Oniris, uh, which is the focus for food science and biotechnology. Now, if, you are an, are, if your background is in mechanical engineering or uh, chemical engineering, you might have the background to go directly into the second year uh, of this master's. So if you have a strong background in uh, heat process control, thermodynamics, we would look at your application and you could very, very well skip the first year and go directly into our second year program, which is focused on um, all these aspects, these advanced technologies for the food and biotechnology industry. So the first semester of the this of the second year, again, which focuses on uh, all these advanced technologies for the food industry and biotechnology industry. So this is a breakdown of the different aspects. You would get an introduction to food safety and quality management, an introduction to food science and engineering, and you would take advantage of our 3000 square meter pilot plant. So in this pilot plant, as you can see, uh, we have all the unit operations and all the leading technology that is used in the food industry. And this is on our campus. This is a state-of-the-art pilot plant that is used for teaching, and research. So you also have other very advanced aspects such as uh, methodologies for food characterization, for identifying and how to optimize these products for the manufacturing industry. Uh, you also have advanced food processing technology and simulation freezing technology. So you can imagine all of these state-of-the-art uh, processes that are involved in the food and biotechnology industry. And of course, you also have that, that other area uh, in which you would have that uh, focus on advanced process uh, technology. So the second year, as I said, focuses uh, on energy, sustainability, and advanced process. But you also have modules in intercultural communication and management. Uh, and I forgot to say, all uh, uh, this master is entirely in English, so you don't need uh, a French level to apply for this master. You do need uh, a B2 level in English, uh, but you would also get intercultural communication courses um, with me, actually. I am professor of communication for this master's, and we teach you all the management communication skills needed uh, to work on an international project or to work internationally. And you would, and through this module, you'd also get an introduction to French if your, your French is not um, at, at, the, at the level where you would need to, uh, for example, uh, communicate with the administration or if you're gonna be working, uh, doing your internship in a lab to help you with the French. But again, for the masters itself, you don't need, um, uh, an advanced level in French because all of the masters and the, the, um, the internship is done in English. So these are some of the possible projects that you would be able to do uh, as an internship. Uh, for example, micro high advanced microwave treatments, electro freezing and high pressure technology. So as I said, we recruit candid candidates with a bachelor's degree um, and you would enroll in the first year. But again, like I said, if, if in, through your uh, master's program, through your bachelor's program, you have the level to go into the second year, that, that level is more uh, in relation to thermodynamics, heat process control. If you have that kind of a background, then we would look at your uh, transcripts and your recommendations, and you could very well go into the second year. So for this master's, if you have any questions, here are the contacts. 
It's Dr. Leo, Lionel Boileau, who is also Director of International Relations. And he is also the coordinator for this master's program. He himself is a professor of mechanical engineering. And uh, in collaboration with the industry, he created this master's program uh, because there is high demand for these types of skills in the food and biotechnology industry. So that is for the master's in uh, food biotechnology processing technology. Um, and like I said, the other masters we have takes place at our veterinary school because our, our other campus is a school of veterinary medicine. So in France, there are four schools of veterinary medicine. And at this school, we've created a master's degree and it's, all, it's, all, it's only a second year master. So in other words, you would come uh, with an advanced degree, either in medicine, veterinary medicine, uh, you could be an engineer in production animal uh, management, or a, a pharmacology, any science related field with at least a five year degree, because this master's um, is only a second year master's. Uh, and it is a master's degree uh, with what we call the One Health concept. One Health concept uh, came about many, many years ago through research and trying to identify the complex skills that are needed for managing diseases that are transferred from animal to man. So it's right in line with what we're living today. So this master's addresses all of those skills needed to manage these complex projects. So the, these are the, and again, this is a uh, partnership with other leading universities. It's not just Oni Reese, uh, the University of Nantes and the School of uh, Agriculture. So all of the professors for this master's program, again, this master's program is also done entirely in English. So all you need is a B2 level in English, not in French. And like the other masters, you also get communication and management courses for um, applied to the, uh, uh, the One Health industry. Okay, so um, again, this is a, a cross disciplinary masters um, with doctors, pharmacists, veterinarians, scientists and engineers uh, in which you work together trying to solve and simulate. We have a lot of simulations, for example, in epidemiology, in crisis management. So all, all this in all these areas and all the classes that you do, they're interactive. And you work with um, not only a cohort of international students, but from various disciplines as well. Because again, the complexity of, of public health issues is so complex that we need to learn how to work with people from di different backgrounds in, dis in different disciplines. So again, all these courses are taught entirely in English, but you also get the development of interpersonal and intercultural skills, which are also skills that are needed in working in, in, in this type of environment. You need to know how to communicate the different types of backgrounds that you have. And because you're working in an international environment, there are also specific international management tools. To I'll give you a short example. When you're trying to implement um, a complex health strategy to a country, you first need to understand the culture of that country. And so these inter intercultural management skills uh, help you identify how to best implement uh, different international health projects in a specific country. Uh, but also intercultural management tools give you the opportunity of working together in an international environment and with people of different uh, backgrounds, different professional backgrounds. Uh, up until now, Manimal has uh, has been is is been has been going on for 
almost 10 years now. And these are all the uh, countries from which we have alumni now. So you see, it's a very, very exciting international environment to be in. Um, we also take pride in, 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 in our pedagogical approach. Because it's not just conferences, it's what we call flipped class classroom, which I think everybody has is, is learning, but we have advanced tools to, to work together in groups, um, e-learning, um, specifically guided tutored projects with private companies. So some of the, the research projects that you're gonna be working on come, come from real life issues and, and companies. Let me keep track of time. Um, so again, reinforcing your communication skills uh, in all of these areas uh, is extremely important. Okay, as you can see, and we have a variety of different classroom environments with state-of-the-art technology for uh, teaching and learning. So the different, the three, the, the different areas of teaching are, uh, for example, epidemiology, uh, biological and chemical risks, um, risks and nutritional contamination transfers. That's the expertise that comes from our food science experts um, and the production chain. So in the food industry, how, how, how to manage uh, production animal foods. Uh, and of course, at the center, uh, management communication and health and organization policies. So that is the core of the curriculum that you will get during this master's program. So the master's program is again done in one year uh, where the first part is the teaching of all these aspects that you see here. And then the second semester would be an internship, a six month paid internship. And then you would do your master's dissertation based on that internship, okay? And of course, this internship can be done in France, or you can go back to your native countries as well and do uh, the internship. The application process for this starts 15th of January. Here is the link. Uh, again, you would need a CV, a cover letter, and of course, all the other areas, the academic areas and credentials that you would, uh, that you need to apply. The price uh, is 3,700. Uh, 3,770 euros, uh, which is the standard price for uh, an international master's at, at a university, at a public university. But we also have scholarships based on financial merit. Okay, so if you're interested in this master's, this is the contact for uh, information, but you might want to visit us. We'll, we'll be available at the, vir at the virtual room until the end of the, the day, uh, if you want information on this, okay? So that's about it. If there are any questions, uh, I'd be happy to answer. Okay, merci beaucoup pour votre présentation. Je suis vraiment désolé d'avoir mal prononcé votre école, Oniris Graduate School. Eh, C'est pas grave. <laughs> J'ai clarifié après. Merci beaucoup. Now we will begin the Q&A session. The first question, sure. uh, I will read the question from the YouTube comment section. The, mm -hmm. the first question, it goes, okay, let's start. Okay. The first question is, do Oniris accept master's student from interdiscipline major? Uh, I'm not sure what the question is. Could you clarify that question? I'm not really. I really uh, don't. Don't say. Is que uh, votre école ac uh, accepte uh, le domaine, uh, par exemple, la li pendant la licence, il a appris économie, par exemple, ou bien gestion. Okay, for okay for the the masters in bioprocessing engineering, the backgrounds must be in engineering. It must be either chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, or of course, food science engineering. You, you need an, a, a math a math and engineering background for that master's. 
For the masters in public health, you, again, you need their very specific backgrounds. You, uh, in medicine, veterinary medicine, it could be production animal engineering, pharmacy or, or advanced biology. Thank you for the answer. The next question, it goes, how much does the master program cost? Okay, like I said, for the, the master's program in public health at the veterinary school, it's 3,770 euros, which is the standard price at the university. But again, there are scholarships based on merit. For the, the master's in bioprocessing engineering, the master, uh, it's, a, it's, 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 it's in, it's, it's, it's company based and it's, um, it's more advanced, much more advanced technology and much more advanced research. Uh, the master's is 12,000 euros, but if, if there's a, there's a price reduction, if, um, you go through the, the, uh, the fair, if you said that, that, um, that you're applying through the fair, there is a, a, a slight reduction. Also, we have partnerships with different universities in, the, in Indonesia. If your university does not have a partnership, they can contact us. And through, through that, we're able to negotiate um, down to about 9,000 euros. Okay. And also, um, wh when you're in the second year, in the second semester uh, during the internship, that is a paid internship. Uh, so you get some of the money uh, back. All right, next question. And, and also one, one thing I might, might add that all international students in, uh, that come to France, they can apply for financial aid for living expenses. Uh, and that's almost automatic. And we would help you and guide you through the application process, but it's about 180 euros per month to help you with living expenses. Thank you for the answer. The next question, it goes, are the costs for the different master's program the same? No, they're not the same. Like I said, uh, for the, the, uh, the master's program in public health is 3,770 euros and the one for bioprocessing engineering, normally 12,000 euros for non-European students, but that can be negotiated either through your university, we have scholarship uh, based on merits, uh, or there's a slight reduction if, if for Indonesian students who came through the fair. All right, thank you very much for the answer. Next question, it goes, is there already Indonesian alumni from Oniris? From, we have a partnership right now with I3L and a university in Bangdung. Uh, there are alumni from IMT Atlantic, which is our partner, because the master's in bioprocessing engineering um, is just opening right now. It was going to open 2020, but because of the pandemic, um, we have a special offer and we're, we're opening a 2021 cohort that's starting with the internship and then you would come and join the cohort for 2021 in September. But that um, you would have to contact us immediately because it starts February 2021. All right, thank you very much for the answer. Next question, it goes, Bonjour, does your institution offer a total online courses for international students at the moment? No, we don't. All of our, all of our teaching is, as we have online teaching, but within, when you're, when you're here face-to-face uh, -face, as part of the course is mm -hmm. online teaching, but the, the majority of the course is face-to-face. Is, is, um, -face not online. Très bien, merci beaucoup. The next question, it goes, for Indonesian students, what kind of the document should be prepared to apply to your schools? Would you repeat? What kind of the document should be prepared to apply to your schools? Okay, for, 
for both masters, you would go through the uh, the the contacts and uh, the email contacts, and then you would need, of course, transcripts, CV, letter of motivation, letters of recommendation, but mainly your your bachelor's background in transcripts. All right. Next question is for the master degree. Do the student need to prop? Provide a recommendation letter from the workplace or from the previous university to enroll to your school. Could you repeat the question? I didn't get. I didn't get the last part. Do the student need to provide a recommendation letter from the workplace or from the previous university to enroll to your school? No, the letter of recommendation would be from the professors and the university. Just from the the university. All right. Thank you very much for the answer. The next question, for the international program, what is the minimum of TOEFL or IELTS score? Uh, you would need a B2 level. So I think it's a, a, a TOEFL or TOEFL 550 or TOEIC uh, 800. It's a B2 level in the language. Okay, thank you very much for the answer. The next question is still about the language uh, score. Uh, for the for the student who want to take the international program or in English, do the student need to speak French? No, they don't. They don't need to speak French at all. Um, but we, when when the students arrive here, they get uh, uh, they get an introduction to French culture. Uh, they will be taking French courses, but the French courses is more to help them with uh, the life and accommodation and social life here in France. But again, both master's program are entirely taught in English. All right, thank you very much for the answer. And the next question, it goes, for the veterinary medicine, do you specialize on certain animals that are available in French only? Can we apply the knowledge for tropical country animals? Uh, yes, of course. I mean, we don't we don't specialize in tropical animal um, countries, but uh, that's that that's a, that's a very unique part of our masters is to bring all these different uh, experiences that we have from different countries and bring them together and apply the apply the knowledge they have um, from their specific countries and bring that that richness into the uh, into that masters program. Right, thank you very much for the answer. The next question, it goes, how much is the living cost in your city? Okay, so the city of Nod is about 600, uh, 650 euros to 700 euros per month and that includes accommodation, living expenses, of course, as a student. I, <laughs> uh, which is, uh, if you compare to Paris, for example, which is about 1,200 euros, so a city outside of Paris uh, is about 650 to 700 euros per month. Merci beaucoup pour la réponse. The next question is for the internship program. Do your university help student, the international student to find a place for internship program? Yes, yes, we do have uh, partners. Uh, we do especially in the bioprocessing in uh, masters, uh, there are partnerships with the scientific units. There could be a possibility in the industry, but then the student might have to speak French. Uh, but most most of the internships for the bioprocessing masters, uh, we have those internships available because that's part of the cost that the student pays for, is that they are assured an internship for the answer the next question it goes after graduation is there any possibilities to find a job in france thank you okay there are there are partnerships with um uh, uh agreements between france and indonesia so students would be able after the master's program they would be able to stay for one year or maybe two they would have to 
uh, I'm not sure about the agreements between France and Indonesia, but at least for one year, they would be able to look for a job uh, and have uh, an extended visa for that. Now, some students um, want to go on to a PhD, so that master's would be a springboard to a PhD. We don't guarantee that, but that could be a possibility. All right, thank you very much for the answer. The next question, and it would be the last question for this webinar, and sure. it goes, is there any age limit for applying to your scholarship, SEMA? Thank you, Skim. Age limit, I don't, I don't think there's an age limit. No, you're welcome to come. Okay. So the answer is, uh, there is no age limit. There is no age limit, no. All right. I guess that's the end of our Q&A session. Just a reminder that you can still connect with the representative through the information given earlier. Merci beaucoup, Moussouf Khans, for your presentation. Thank you. And, and I hope to see you again. Have a good weekend over there. Yeah, and tell the students that they could visit us at our virtual room uh, until the end of the day. Okay. Uh, dear all, we would like to remind you that today is the last day of the EHAF Indonesia 2020 event. Don't miss out to talk directly to the university representative through the virtual fair. Uh, you can access it through our website, event.ehaf.id. Thank you for watching and see you in our next session.